Hey everybody and welcome to the Sunday stretch. We are going to do some upper body stretches focusing on our shoulders and we're going to be using two things. We're going to be using our roller which we'll do the first bit and we'll use either a band or a strap or anything, maybe even a towel that will work. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our roller and we're just going to start doing some rolling out. We're obviously going to start from the bottom to the top like we always do, focusing on our calves, going a little bit past the knee, just working our way through. Good, keeping good pressure onto the side here, twisting the knee in and out, trying to get different areas. So next leg, same thing. Just getting our body moving this Sunday. All right, that's good. Now we're going to go straight on to our hamstrings. We're going to head both legs onto the roller, just going back and forth. Putting as much pressure as we possibly can. And we're going to move straight on into our RT band using our opposite leg as a kickstand. That's good. Let's switch over to the next side. Again, moving nice and quickly between these. Getting as much of the area as possible of the side of the leg. And we're going to move straight on up into the glutes. Moving over to the one side. Small movements going back and forth. Switching up to the side. Opposite leg goes onto the knee putting as much weight as we can onto the glute area. All right, then we're just gonna move over into putting the roller on our back. We're just gonna go back and forth with that roller. Just getting the upper and the lower back just nice and loose. Right, and then we're going to go onto our side and we're actually going to put that roller right underneath our armpit and we're going to use our opposite hand just to move the roller back and forth trying to work on those lats moving up and down with the roller putting all of our body weight onto that position Good, and I'm going to turn around and do the other side. So again, putting that roller right underneath the armpit. Arm right out in front of us, nice and straight. Moving back and forth. All right, that's good. We're going to check the roller away. And we're going to get started into our stretch. So we're going to take a nice deep breath, remembering breathing is going to get us through these stretches. And just me. I'm going to bump off the camera. Good job. So nice deep breath, getting ready for a nice breathing sequence. And the first one we're going to go into is child's pose. Bring your arms straight out in front of you and we're going to move over onto the right side so you'll feel a nice strong pull on the left side of the back and the shoulders.
make sure we're breathing in we use the same routine as we do normally in for three hold for three and exhale for three Cast off way on the side remember if you bring your hips closer to the ground you'll obviously feel more of a pull Good, we're going to reset and then move over to the other side. Arms straight out in front of us, head falling in between the shoulders. And pulling all the way and working our way all the way into the left side. Nice big deep breaths. Expanding the rib cage. out of that one. Child's pose again with bent arms. So go into the child's pose again, making sure your elbows are on the ground, head is between the shoulders. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands right onto the top of your back. You feel this and in your triceps at the bottom. Hips go back towards the ground, giving us a pull. I like to relax my arms every now and then. Just take the tension off. Remember, you never want to hurt yourself with these stretches. You should feel good. So at any time you feel like you're struggling, can relax and get back into the position. So as you can see here, I'm switching between relaxing and stretching. Nice big breaths. Make sure we're not holding tension till it hurts. You can release the tension, take a nice deep breath and get back into the stretch. All right, coming out of that one. We are going to work on our rotator cuff, so what you're going to do is you're going to get onto your side straight and bring your arms straight out in front of you, then bend your hand so it's at 90 degrees, your arms at 90 degrees. Use your other hand just to slowly and softly bring your palm down to the ground. So as you can see here, I'm nowhere near the ground. You have to be really careful with this stretch. If you push this one too much, you will hurt yourself. So what I like to do is I push all the way until I feel the tiniest, tiniest bit of stretch up into my shoulder once you feel that that's as close as you can go you don't want this one to hurt in any way it should be a nice stretch especially if you're someone who sleeps on your side this can be very very relieving breathing with these ones again if you feel like you need to let go definitely do so
And we're going to switch over to the next side. Same thing on straight out in front of us. Feeling that stretch just until we tiny little bit of feels it up into our shoulder. And that's as far as we go. Good. Keep on breathing. About halfway through here. Nice. Deep breaths to help us with a stretch. Alright, we're going to come back to our neutral position right now. Alright, so the next one is we're going to do an arch position. So with this you're going to grab your band, you're going to get into a saddle position. If saddle is too hard, you can just sit on your butt cheeks with your legs straight out in front of you. But if you can do the saddle, it is two stretches for one. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put your left hand or right hand right at the back of your head. Grab the um, strap and use it to pull that right arm down. Alright, so as you can see I've got it down there and I'm pulling all the way. This you should feel in your triceps and in your shoulders. And because we're in the saddle position, you'll feel it in your thighs. Again, if the saddle position is too much for you, definitely just sit in a normal seated seating position. This one's pretty challenging again, so if you need to reset, do so. We are on to the next side here. Switching arms. Big deep breaths. Focusing on your breathing. for that one. Next one we're going to do is the seated fold. So if you're in a seated position, good job. When you go into a seated position, we're going to have our legs straight out in front of us and we're just folding into ourselves towards our feet. So as you can see here, we're just letting my body dangle. You're going to feel a nice pull in the lower back. You're going to feel a pull in your hamstrings and the top of your head. You're just going to let it fall. Relaxing, using this time just to have a break from that saddle position if you were in it, and just have a break from the top half of our body. It's good. Breathing nice and deep. And we're going to come out of that one, go into our next upper body position. You're going to go back into the saddle position, so sitting on top of your feet. Move our arms underneath the right arm, we'll go underneath the left, and you'll use it to sort of grab it. So basically you're putting your arms in sort of a knot, and all you're doing is pushing your shoulders forward. You'll feel a nice feeling 
in between your shoulder blades. So you can bring your arms forward, it should pull those shoulder blades together. Alright, we're going to switch arms here. Getting back into this position, same thing, moving our hands away from our face, feeling the stretch in between the shoulder blades, using that deep breathing to help us get through this difficult stretch. Trying to keep that spine up nice and tall. out of that position. And we're going to get into our rebound, right? So this is just the part of the stretch. We sit down nice and flat on the ground. We relax and feel the results of the stretches. Take a time to just relax, think about nothing. I like to put the roller underneath my neck and move my head back and forth. It seems to roll out those tight muscles at the back of my neck. Good. Thank you so much for everyone for joining me for this other body stretch this Sunday and I hope you enjoy your Labor Day weekend. <laughs>